ghost came to visit me in a murky water that had spoken to the airs and trees to spew a frigidness. And so it came, saying it could grant me a space to occupy, so I clothed myself in white matter. It, with cupped hands in shallow streams, raises and caresses a parting gift over my head, the bareness like a song, queuing for its departure. Before it can truly leave, I grab onto both of its arms, gaze into a treachery, and feel it allow the water and soil to sink beneath me. On the outside, looking in, it's a celebration. My niece, Adura, is running around stealing juices and sodas from older cousins and saying, it's mine. On the outside, looking in, we've chosen the darkest corner to host a visceral unbecoming. Crouching because we begin to seep into the semblance of space we can salvage. Looking in, it becomes a drive home from relatives we don't know. But we spend the evening trying to grasp onto a fondness that can sustain, that can sustain and so we drive big mommy home. She sits in the passenger seat and mom in the back. Across from me, she reaches out for my hand and I let her and make room for loneliness, bring air to the me that's within me, calling to the windows and abysses we drive by for refuge. This time, I'll ask the visitor to show me its hands and do that motion again, the one where I bear witness to both its palms. Thank you.